Today we are searching for an abandoned trolley line that once served Highland Park and Highland Lake Hotel. This video will provide a historic perspective with photos and information, as well as a look at the line as it exists today. This illustrated map shows the Highland Lake branch in red and the Torrington and Winstead main line in blue. I didn't know where to start so I parked my car on the side of the road near a quarry entrance. This was south of the unnamed brook and the Highland Lake branch. From here I headed to the quarry and looked for signs of the trolley right away. I worked my way up the hillside on a steep dirt path. Eventually I found an ATV side path down the hill towards the brook and it led me to the trolley right away just above the bridge remains. Before continuing I explored the bridge remains and an old dam in that area. From the bridge the right of way was easy to follow up to the end of the line at East Wakefield Boulevard. Upon my return, I explored the area between the bridge and the busy Torrington Road. The one-mile Highland Lake Line was built by the Torrington and Winchester Street Railway in 1897 and was abandoned on January 5, 1929. The branch provided a weekend destination for patrons and thus enhanced revenues for the Torrington and Winchester Street Railway. I've been steadily climbing up a pretty steep road. If this is a trolley, it went up some very, very steep stuff, and there's a turn off over here that may get me to where the trolley went. All right, looks like my gut was correct. I was not on the trolley line. This is the trolley line. In fact, there's still remnants of a bridge here crossing the river or stream. Let's see if we can get a look at this. This lightweight bridge behind me used to carry the Highland branch of the uh, Connecticut Company trolley line. When they removed the tracks, they left a little bit of steel in place. It looks like the uh, south abutment has been undermined a little bit, but it's still standing. Just a short distance up from that bridge is a, is a dam over here. A uh, little retaining pond and the trolley line joins this ATV road maybe um, over here. Due to uh, melting snow, the right of way here has become a small stream. At this point, we're about halfway to the top of Highland Lake. We are leaving the stream bed behind us. It's heading off to the north. We're curving around the hill a little bit and heading more due west. At this point, the right of way takes us to the backyard of a private residence on East Wakefield Boulevard. At the end of the video, I'll drive around to get a better look. Clark's 1859 map of Litchfield County shows a sawmill at this location. So we're just a little ways down from the dam, and this looks like it may have been a power canal. Um, and we're not too far from the trolley bridge, which is coming up, which also had a small little dam right underneath it. So let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. So here's what I would call the power canal. And we look right and down there, we can see the trolley bridge. The water here is a little low. This is the upstream side of the trolley bridge. And we're looking back at the dam over there. Power canal is on the right. All right, it looks like the power canal went by that boulder. There's been a little bit of fill in this area, but it, I can see the power canal continuing on. In this direction, there's the, in the center of our screen is the mound to the left would have been the canal. This might be overflow here that I'm going on now. This is how the ATVs get back to the trolley bed. So we are back on the trolley bed now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hike back to the bridge abutment. At 
this point, it looks like the right of way has been blocked off to prevent vehicles, but we're gonna go right over this. And I think there's a dirt road on the other side. We just uh, walked through the debris field, pretty much the dumping grounds here. Nothing really to show but some old couches and things. So after that, it looks like the right of way um, may have continued straight across here. And I'm showing you now, there was a bridge across here and this might be where the abutment was or maybe where it's been dug out to. I didn't really see any evidence of the uh, footings over there, nor do I think this road that I walked down was the original right of way. I think there was some elevation at this point. Um, maybe the, that stone foundation was here during the days of the trolleys. Maybe I can find a picture. That gives me some idea. This area does look like, it does look like it's been developed. So it might be hard to find any evidence down here. What I'll do is I'll walk along the road and let's look and see if I can find any piers across the road here. Uh, but that may have been disturbed too. This might not have been the original road location. So we'll see if we can find it. Along the road here and to our right is a river and you can see the rail trail. There's a split rail fence and folks are actually walking on it over there. Just trying to see if I can see any evidence of where the trestle would have gone through over here. And uh, it's a lot easier to see when you're walking than when you're driving in a car. In this image, we are looking south along the Naugatuck branch of the New Haven Railroad. Torrington Road is on the right of the fence line. If you look closely, you can see the embankment and the western abutment of the bridge. This image of Highland Lake Junction shows an open car arriving from the lake. The view is looking south towards Torrington. Unfortunately, I didn't explore the area between Torrington Road and the junction. However, these three photos, which were provided by my friend Bob Beletsky, show the footings and the eastern abutment for the bridge are still there. Highland Lake was formed by impounding a Mad River tributary in 1860. It stretches for three miles with a maximum depth of 63 feet. Around. Uh, to Highland Lakeside, and we were actually on the other side of this house at 665. Um, uh, I don't know what road this is, but we were actually on the other side of this house is where we turned around on the trolley line. If you take a quick look, you can see that the trolley ended pretty much right at the lake. This image shows the trolley line ended at the road. There was a short sidetrack here at the end of the line. Highland Park featured a carousel, a dance pavilion, a restaurant, boating, and bathing. There was even a steamboat that picked up passengers for tours of the lake. If you're interested in learning more about trolleys in this area, I recommend the book Waterbury Trolleys. That's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please drop a comment below to let me know. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.